Hey guys, it's Hannah and I'm here today to do my October wrap up. So this month I actually read quite a bit of books. I found that having a YouTube channel actually has motivated me to get through my TBR list which is exactly what I wanted. So let's get into my books that I read. In no particular order, I read Richard Castle, the um, novel, but it's Heat Wave. What kitty? My cat is riveted by this book. <laughs> Come here. Do you want to say hi? Come here, Watson. Watson wanted to say hi. This is Watson. And yes, he has a shirt or he has a brother named Sherlock. Anyway, so I read this with my husband. We are going through all of the seasons right now and we loved those. So we thought that we'd pick it up and see if we liked the writing books just as well. And I'm going to have to say that I definitely love the show better because I think that's what I fell in love with first. The books are not bad, but I haven't read a lot of mystery novels to compare it to or murder mystery novels. Um, I think I gave this like a 3.5 or 4 on Goodreads. I wish we had half stars. Anyway, four, 4 stars I think on Goodreads, but really it's probably about 3.5. Next up, I read Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. I love this series and this was no exception. I love this. I gave this a 5 stars on Goodreads and I cannot wait to pick up the 5th one. Next up, I read The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. Um, this was on my September TBR, so I'm glad that I finally got to this in my reading this month. and. I was actually really surprised at how different I thought about this book from when I was younger versus how, where I am now and when I'm reading it. Um, I thought that she was a bit privileged and I think I liked it a lot better when I was younger because I related a lot more to Anne Frank because I was around the same age as her and I was kind of like in that growing up awkward stage that she's in. But I don't really care for her in this book. I, I guess I didn't realize when I was younger how... She's very like, conceited, and you know, you don't really hear that thrown around with this book too much, but she was very whiny, and I felt she was very privileged. It's a cat. Anyway, I was saying, I thought that she was very privileged with all the terrible situations going on for Jews at the time of this um, story that she was writing or in her diary, she had it pretty good. I mean, she could have been a lot worse off and she, they complained a lot. Not that I'm saying that living in the secret annex was a walk in the park, but I mean, be thankful. <laughs> but um, I do still really like this book for the historical aspect of it. Oh, I think I gave this like four stars or something on Goodreads. Next up on my... Stop that. Next up on my list that I read was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I gave this, I think, a four or five stars out of five um, on Goodreads. Really like this book. Um, it's by Ransom Race, and I read this for this, my spooky pick of the month to kind of get into the Halloween spirit for October. And I actually really liked it. I, was, I didn't know how I was going to fare with this type of story because it's kind of out of my comfort zone. But it was actually really cool. Next up, I was... I was shopping and I saw it. I was so excited to see this. Happily Ever After. I am a selection lover and I know that that series has a lot of flack and I know it's not perfect but it's still really an enjoyable read so I was really excited to read the novellas. So I read all of the novellas in here and I liked the little um, Celeste special that you get in here that you don't get in, in the other um, novellas. Um, these are really good and I rated them all differently on the novellas. Some of them were, they added a lot and I I didn't really care for the guard. Um, I really liked the prince and the favorite and the queen and I thought those were really good ones. I probably liked the guard the least and then the queen and then it was a tie for the favorite and the prince. Um, but I liked seeing the different perspectives and really feeling like that you could really submerge yourself in the castle with them by seeing the story from all different sides. I thought that was really cool. 
Next up, we have Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer. Now, if you don't know, this is the um, surprise release that she put out for um, her 10th anniversary, which is actually on this side. And she gender swapped all of the characters except Renee and Charlie in this book. It's a really cool concept. I actually have a review on this um, in the bottom bar below, and I will all link it. I also have um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children review, and I'll link that down below too. Oh, and I gave this, I think, a four out of four stars, four stars out of five. Can you tell I pattern here? I rarely give twos or ones because I still normally really connect with characters, and it's really hard, really hard to give a two or one for a book. I usually am like a 3.5, 4 stars, unless I absolutely love it and it's my favorites and then it goes to a 5. Next up I read Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Now this book I read within 24 hours and I don't do that too often. I think because of, of the format and there's there's some like, it's like has emails and IMs and charts. It's just a very cool way to write a book and I love reading that style where it mixes it up a little bit. Plus, you know, there's some pages like this as well. So I actually really enjoyed this book and it was just like a fun little read and I wasn't expecting the ending. I was really like, this is going to be a predictable fast read and I judged it too fast. But it was really cool. Um, I rated this a four stars out of five. And I thought it was just different. You don't really hear that like too much about a girl who lives basically in a bubble. And then last but not least, my book is actually an ebook version, which I did a review on. It's called The Girl Who Chased the Moon by Sarah Addison Allen. And I rated this a 5 out of 5. Now, I just said before that I don't rate 5 out of 5 unless it's one of my all-time favorites. Sarah Addison Allen, I love all of her books. It's, she's such a weakness for me. So, of course, 5 out of 5, easy. Love how her style of writing and love how she submerges, submerges the reader into the world. And I, I just adore it. Go check out one of her books and then you'll totally know what I'm talking about. Um, but I will put a picture right here of the cover. It's gorgeous. And I will link the review down below. So that is all for what I read for October. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I thought usually I do three or four books a month and I think I have like seven here. Yeah, yeah, I have seven here. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I want to know what you guys read this month and what you thought of them and leave the comments down below and I will chat and we will see. Maybe you can recommend some of the best books that you read this month. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!